Welcome to Daily News Updates by the Shipping Tribune. Here we bring you the latest maritime daily news in a short form video format. Please subscribe for regular updates. Freight market scenario by Segal Sea Trade. On January 29th, the Asia Pacific Panamax freight rates were largely up. The Asia Pacific Supermax freight rates were hiked. The Cape size freight rates were unchanged. And the Pacific Handy size market was largely firmer. Tanker with Russian diesel to discharge at the port of Venezuela. A fuel tanker is discharging Russian diesel at the port of Venezuela after US sanctions were eased last year. Data from traders and LSEG showed on Monday. See Maverick with about 33,000 metric tons of ultra low sulfur diesel loaded at the end of December 2023 at the Russian Baltic port of Primorsk is discharging at the Al Palito port in Venezuela, according to LSEG data. The U.S. broadly eased sanctions on Venezuela's oil sector in response to a deal reached between the government and opposition parties for the 2024 election. Baltic index slips as bigger vessel rates fall. The Baltic exchange dry bulk sea freight index fell on Monday, logging its worst session in two weeks as rates declined in the Cape Sides and Panamax vessel segments. The overall index, which factors in rates for Cape Sides, Panamax and Supermax shipping vessels, was down 58 points or 3.8% to 1,460 points. The Cape Sides index was down 165 points, losing 7.7% to 1,970 points, also its biggest daily decline in two weeks. Average daily earnings for Cape Sides vessels, which typically transports 150,000 ton cargo such as iron ore and coal, decreased by $1,371,000 to $16,337. Before we move on to the rest of the news updates, I would like to inform you that the 10th Inner Tanker Shipping and Trade Summit is being organized on 9th of February 2024 in Mumbai and the venue will have limited seating capacity. So we request you to reserve your seat as soon as possible. Registrations will be done on a first come first serve basis. Singapore's growing biobunkers demand to drive surge in regional UCOME consumption. The rising demand for biobunker at the world's largest bunkering port of Singapore is likely to continue in 2024, which could drive a sharp increase in used cooking oil methyl ester or UCOME demand, market participants said. Singapore's overall sales of bunker fuel in 2023 jumped to a record high 51.8 million metric tons, with biobunker sales jumping to 518,000 metric tons in 2023 from 140,200 metric tons in 2022, latest data from the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore showed. Fuel tanker is loaded at Novatex Usluga Terminal. A tanker called Braze is being loaded with fuel at Novatex Terminal at the Baltic seaport of Usluga, where the company's fuel producing complex was damaged earlier this month, according to industry sources and LSEG data. It was not immediately clear which type of fuel was being loaded. The tanker has been used to deliver naphtha. Novatex said earlier this month it had been forced to suspend some operations at the huge Baltic Sea Fuel Export Terminal and technological processes at a nearby fuel producing complex due to a fire started by what Ukrainian media said was a drone attack. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the Shipping Tribune YouTube channel if you haven't already.